level of energy. You know, sometimes I think you have so much energy and restlessness. It is Jory himself. Please permit me lead you to the podium to make your two minutes present. Sir, my own revolution is time revolution. Two minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, let me thank uh, the chairman of education, Professor Jega, uh, president of uh, TUC, uh, Olale Quadri, and all the organizers, particularly uh, the organizer of this event. I wish that uh, uh, Dr. Mimiko had not left because he's from my state and I would have loved to renounce some of the lies he told here today. You saw that, wait, please. You noted that when he was saying that he belongs to a political party, he couldn't mention the party because he has gone around all the parties. But the discussion about him uh, is for another day. The other thing I wanted to talk to him about, and the labor movement, this is very important. The labor movement had become the orphanage of politicians who, had look, who have lost out of their regular places and spaces. And that is the biggest problem of the labor movement that you accept all kinds of characters when they lose out where they naturally belong. And that is why you are probably here today. On my own level, something happened on my way here today, and it underscores where we are in Nigeria. I read in the newspaper that some kidnappers kidnapped somebody. They got 12 million as ransom from the victim. But when they were sharing the money, the leader of the kidnap group cheated the others. He gave the guys who went for the most amount of risk, 200,000 Naira. Do you know what they did? They went to the police to report him that he cheated them. That tells you where Nigeria is today. And as I'm talking to you, the police is investigating why the others were cheated without arresting them for kidnapping and collecting ransom. This particular story I'm telling you is true, but that is where Nigeria's leadership is today. They have kidnapped our people, their aspirations for the future, and their ability to survive, and they come back to the people, possibly in 2023, to report themselves, though we have cheated you so much, but among those of us who cheated you, some have also cheated us. Please vote for those of us who are cheated. That is where Nigeria is today. I ask sometimes why we hold this kind of meetings. I'm sorry. Why? We have some of the most competent people seated here with us today. Professor Jega, I've had two encounters with him. One was when he was chairman of ASU, national president of ASU. They came to the University of Lagos. I was president of the University of Lagos Student Union. Their building was surrounded by the DSS. We went there and liberated them. And they continued their He was one of the best ASU presidents I've ever met. And nobody talks about it. They only talk about INEC. The second time I met Professor Jega, he was also held to ransom by the Jonathan regime when he was announcing the elections in 2015. The DSS was going to kidnap him. In fact, they sent a minister, Orubebe, to go in the hall and stop him from announcing the result. He sat on the floor. We arrived there and we rescued the situation. Mimiko was saying that some people who brought Buhari to power should come and apologize. What about the party that ruined Nigeria for 16 years? Who are they going to apologize to? What about the military men? that they have been following. Because Mimiko is not new to me. Mimiko was one of the people that betrayed Abiola during June 12th. And I wish he was here. I would have told him to his face. So for so, so, such people to come and be insulting you, that you need to apologize for people who have ruined your life over time, is something that should not be accepted. I'll say one last thing. Let's keep, stop fooling ourselves. You have competent people to run this country. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I declared as president of the Federal Republic, as a candidate for the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, because I can do the job better than all these jokers who are running around. Please wait, wait, wait. And there is no need 
to go out of this hall to be looking for people who are urinating on themselves. There's no need to go out of this hall as a liberal leader and go and vote for people who are articulating after they ruined your universities and created their own private university. There's no need to go out of this hall to be looking for messiahs when you have them right here in this panel. That is where I want to stop. And I want to thank members of the uh, road unions who are here. I knew you would go there. Yes, please. Uh, up road. Super. What I will pray is that may the road rise to meet you. And we will meet because we need all of you. You understand the problems of this country. Probably better than those who are governing the country. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you Revolution very much. Revolution now. Thank you so very much. We'll now hear um, in one minute from the National Chairman of the People's Redemption Party, Malam Dauda. I trust you to make your two minutes one minute. Thank you, sir.